Hello, today I'm going to show you how can I modify choices, uh, different choices in different areas of Project Accelerator. So for this, I will go to Power Apps, I will go to Apps, open the project, and I will first show you project requests. Let's say that I have project request. I will uh, open all project requests. So I will see that I have one. I will go to edit and I will see that in when I uh, have project request, then I, uh, in priority, I have critical, that priority can be critical, high, moderate, and low. What if I want to have, let's say, very low, okay, or not important? So, remember this, I have priority field in project request. So, I will go back to Power Apps, but instead of opening app, I will open data. And I will go to tables. And make sure that you select here, not default tables, but all tables. So, what I want to modify, once again, I want to modify priority in project request. I'm going to search for project request table because all data for project requests are stored in project request table. And I'm going to see that my project request is here. So, I will click on it. And I will have columns. Which column do, do I look for? I am looking for priority column. So I am going to scroll down. Okay. And I will see priority. I will click on priority. And I will see that I have here uh, uh, critical high, moderate, and low. And I will say, I want to edit the choice and I will see which choices are available and I will add new choice. And I will say that new choice is, let's say, five and I will say very low. Okay? And I will save it. After some times, when uh, sometime when this will be saved, I will see that I have my very low. So I can go to my project request. I will refresh this one. Okay. And I should go to priority. And since this is not uh, uh, shown yet, because you should wait some time. Uh, to, uh, for this field to be shown, so I am going to wait a moment, and I, you will see that I will have very low. So here it is. Okay, okay. Let me show you another way to modify some uh, some choices. Let's go to the program. Okay, if I go to my IT program and I edit, I will see. <clears throat> that I have here also priorities, but those priorities are also shown here, very low. So, how can it be? Because here, in I don't have to choose only tables. I can, can choose choices. And choices are assigned to various tables. So, my choice priority, which is here, Okay, is critical high, moderate, low, and very low. And this is priority, which is also assigned to a program. So if I go here to choices and choose priority, I will see very low. But I will see it at the same time if I go to tables and if I go to program table. Okay, so let's go here, program. And if I go to columns, and if I want to see it, I will see it here in priority. So you can see that very low is here. So you can make a, a adjustment through the table 
or through choices. Okay, let's go back to our, our program. And let's say we have program type, which is customer, development, support, and haze enhancement, and program as a program. What if I don't need the, this one, program? If I, if I want just customer, development, support, enhancement, and I want to delete the program. I, I'm going here. So once again, program, program type. Power-ups, program type, I'm in a program data uh, table. If I want to go to choices, I, I can see here program type. I will see here that I have program. So, remove. I will click here. I will say remove. And I will say save. Of course, I should wait. A little bit, and after I uh, uh, wait a little bit, and I, I should have here possibility to choose customer development support enhancement, other, but program is gone. Okay, let's go to projects. If I go to projects, I can here open one project, and I will see <clears throat> that. I have, for example, business unit. I have business unit, which is IT, which is product development, which is MPU, MPUG education. And I use it when I was, uh, when I held a webinar for MPUG, Microsoft Project User Group. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove MPUG education. And I'm going to say that I have business unit, which is called marketing. Once again, save and close. Go, I will go here and I will say business, I will look for business unit. I will go here. I will say, see business unit. And I will see here that I can it remove MPUG education, add new item, and for new option, I will say marketing. So when I have marketing, I will say save. And when it will be saved, I'm going back to my ERP project. And you will see that I have still MPUG. So that is why I'm, uh, what I'm talking about all the time. You have to wait some time. And after a while, it will be shown so so i stopped recording of this video i paused it and it is uh, three minutes bef uh, before i started this one this part and now i can go to the, my erp pro project and you will see that business unit has it product development and marketing so you can do it for every single uh, every single choice which you have and which choices are available, a lot of them here. But if you want to know which choices belongs to which table, you should go through tables. So you can go to table and you will see which choices do you have. But if you know what choice do you want, exactly which choice do you want to change, then you can easily go here and uh, and say let's say for example project type i have project type i have security cloud computer application development maintenance internal readiness what if I, if my project type is let's say uh erp implementation a new option erp implementation okay save and when I save it, once again, you got the picture. I will go here, save and close, wait some time, and finally, finally, I can go here, and you see I have ERP project. In IT program, business unit is, let's say, IT, but my uh, project type is not 
any more application development, but, is, but it is ERP implementation. So I will say that this project type, ERP project, is obviously uh, uh, under ERP implementation project type. So whenever you want to change your choices, you can do it through tables or choices. So from here or here. But be aware that you have be very careful if you raise, for example, if I now save and uh, uh, this uh, project, and if I choose or someone, your administrator, choose to delete this project type, that project type will be uh, deleted from your project as well. So maybe you will lose some information. So don't do that often. Uh, by don't do that often, I mean do not delete your choices often. And before you do that, be aware that it is not used uh, uh, in some project program or project request. On the other hand, you can add or modify your, your choice whenever you want, whenever it seems appropriate. That's all for today. Thank you very much. And next time I'm going to show you how the risks are handled in project using Project Accelerator. Thank you very much.